Hello and welcome to day number 19 of 30 GIMP tutorials. Today I'm bringing you another fabulous editing technique for styling your images known as spot coloring with a vintage twist. Let's get started, shall we? The first thing I want to do before we apply the spot coloring is duplicate our image layer here so we can work non-destructively. Now we need to convert this layer to black and white, and we can do that by going up to colors and selecting hue, saturation, and dropping the saturation down to minus 100 to get our black and white conversion. And if you've ever watched any video tutorial that I've done before about black and white conversions, you know I dislike this technique. I'm gonna cancel this here, and if you wanna learn my favorite methods for converting to black and white, check out the link I have in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of my favorite ways to convert to black and white, which is also under colors, under desaturate, and it's color to gray. So depending on the size of your file or your computer resources or both, it may take a couple minutes for this to update the preview. The first two options here will alter the tonal range of the black and white conversion. So you can adjust this to your liking based on the tonal ranges and the colors in your image. I'll let you play around with that and experiment with your own images. And then this one down here, iterations, will increase or decrease the amount of digital noise or the grain in the image. So if you wanna add more grain, you can increase this. Lowering it will do the opposite remove some of the grain. And then if you want to enhance that grain even more, turn on enhance shadows. I don't think it works for this particular image, so I'm just gonna leave everything at the defaults for now. Go ahead and click OK. And now we have our black and white conversion. And to get the spot coloring, we need to add a layer mask to this layer. So I'm gonna click right here to add a white layer mask. Now with black set to my foreground color, I can paint with that black color to bring back the color wherever I want it on the image. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush tool with the letter P, and then I can begin painting, let's say on the lips here, to bring back that color. How cool is that? I love it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my zoom tool and click and drag around the lips so I can get a better view of what I'm working on, and then I will continue painting in this area to get it exactly where I need it. Now I do have another quick styling tip I wanna share with you. Once I get this done, I'll go ahead and share that with you. So I'm gonna make my brush size smaller and I'm doing that with the scroll wheel on my mouse. So if you don't have that set up already and you have a scroll wheel, you can set that up through preferences and I have a video tutorial that explains how to do that. So check that out as well. It's really handy in making it quicker and easier to resize your brush versus using the tool options or even the keyboard shortcuts, which are your left and right bracket keys. All right, now that I have this done, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom all the way back out to the interface so the image fits within that interface by holding down Control or Command Shift plus the letter J. Now my last styling tip is to come over here to this layer panel, right click on it, and select new from visible. And that's going to merge all these layers and the layer mask together into one layer. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this layer off momentarily. And then what we're going to do is drop the opacity to add a vintage style. Now that you know how to create a spot color effect in GIMP, check out that playlist to your left to learn more about editing, retouching, and styling your images in GIMP. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.